Good morning, Prescott Pumas. I have a few announcements. Would you get ready, please? Today is Friday, June 12th, and here are today's announcements. Well, joining me because it's Friday, of course, I have Mr. Mike Gainsley. Hello, Mike. What's up? Not this guy. Oh! <laughs> Um, did you know that it is National Indigenous History Month in Canada? No. It is. And on Monday, I have a special guest joining me to uh, fill us in on some really cool information. Okay, nice. Nice, yes. Well, I don't want to hold up our famous uh, segment, Mike's Minutes with Mr. Mike Gainsley. Oh. So I will pass it to you, Mr. Mike okay, Gainsley. Okay, you do that. Uh, welcome to the second last Mike's Minute until hopefully September. Uh, and today I'm going to give an opinion on a question that hopefully a lot of students and teachers ha are wondering with the online learning. Kahoot versus quizzes. Let's start with teacher interface. Quizzes may have memes, but they don't have a modern enough teacher interface. Kahoot's teacher interface is perfect for the modern teacher. Kahoot wins round one. It is time for round two, question display. In Kahoot, the question and choices are displayed on the teacher screen, and the students have to pick one of the four shapes on their screen unless it's a multi-select question. Quizzes has accuracy and the students see the choices. The teachers only see the leaderboard and accuracy. This round is a tie, so they both get a point. Round three, library. Kahoot has been around since 2014, but Quizzes 2015, and Kahoot is older and more well-known. So there are more Kahoots, as they call them. Quizzes has good quizzes, but not a big enough library to win this round. Kahoot wins round three. Time for the final round, fun. This was a very tough call as both are very fun, but I gave it to Kahoot and Kahoot wins. Kahoot versus quizzes. Back to you, Mrs. Dallinger. Wow, Mike, thank you for that very informative piece. I hope all the teachers watch this today because then they'll, they'll know which which uh, interface is better. I love it. Very interesting. Is it just me, Mike, or are you getting better at this every single time you do it? I don't know. I think you are. We have some happy birthdays, Mike. Oh, yeah, of course. All right. Happy birthday today, Friday, June 12th, to Reed H. and Avery M. Happy birthday to you. I cut you off. You didn't get to say it twice. Go for it. Another one. Happy birthday to you. There we go. And on Saturday, June 13th, happy birthday to Caden H. Happy birthday to you. On Sunday, June 14th, happy birthday to Layla A. Happy birthday to you. Lexi F. Happy birthday to you. And Tia, uh, ooh, I think her name is Tia, but it might be Thea. Tia M or Thea M, and I'm sorry I don't know which one it is. Happy birthday to you, and happy and birthday to, to you, to you, to you. Happy and birthday to all the rest of us. At least you didn't cut me off that time. Look it, we're getting so good at this, Mike. Yes, we are. Oh. And th this is the second last one. I know. Why do we always perfect it for the end? But you know what? Better late than never. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Do you want to lead us into our final segment? Okay. It's time for everyone's favorite segment, Terrible Jokes. Today, brought to you by me. All right, Mike. Give her. Okay. How do you make a tissue dance? I don't know. How do you make a tissue dance? You put a boogie in it. Oh! And then you wash your hands after because of the pandemic. <laughs> yep. Did you know that French fries weren't made in France? They weren't? They were made in Greece. Oh, but on Classic. Classic. All right. Well, I've known that joke for years. Yeah. 
You just yep. recycle it, bring it out every now and then. I actually heard it on Global today, Global News. Excellent. Excellent. And both of them. Of course you watch the news in the morning. We didn't steal any segments from them, did we? No. Thank the Lord. Yeah. We get copyright if we did a good four minutes. Yeah, that's right. Well, we're, but we're originals, right, Mike? Yeah, we're, we are very much show originals. We, we do this perfectly, hopefully. We do. We do it perfectly the way a teacher and a student should do morning announcements. Right. All right. I am going to wrap this up. Mr. Mike Ainsley, thank you for your Mike's Minutes today. Uh, of course. And all you Pumas out there, I hope you have a wonderful day and learn something cool. Have a great thank weekend. You. Bye. Bye. Bye, Pumas. Bye. Thanks, hope Pumas. See you next Friday. See you next Friday, Pumas. Well, I'll see you on Monday. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh...